to pay for free condoms in schools. He's against abstinence and pro-underage sex. In 1968, John Hunter didn't go to Vietnam when his country needed him. But now, John Hunter... When I'm Eric... Man, I put that banshee in the locker. Nice! Sure, Brucey. Tell me if there's something else you need. Roman, my cousin. I'd really like a cab if you could send one to me. Anything for you, NP. It should be there soon. getting paid to lug your ugly ass around and I'm not happy about it, okay, my friend? Get in! We better get this over with. I hope you enjoy the trouble you are going to be getting into here. Hello? Hello. Uh, is Mikhail home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me. That I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. 
No. When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people, smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> after you walk into a village and you see 50 children all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Эмма. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Oh. You stupid oh. bitch! Oh. <laughs> Nicobelli, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. <sighs> What did you want? Oh, I want you to teach people to listen to you me. You want him to get us the money? Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So... What do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Shotlar on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, trigger the explosive. Should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck?
Lord. Roman, we should go and get drunk together. Roman, I'm nervous enough about driving a truck full of explosives around the city for Mikhail Faust. He's out of control. Anyway, I'm sorry, but if I get drunk with you and then drive this thing, I'll definitely blow myself up. I'll catch you later, cousin. shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy. Has anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me? Seems pretty unanimous. That's my kind of jury. We're gonna have to go with duel or no duel. What's up, Roman? You want to go drinking like we did in the old days? I was thinking my liver was having an easy time. We drink together. Come get me in the next hour. I am coming to get you, Roman. Ladies, this is Roman Bellic. But I guess you already know that. Leave a message. I'd love to, but I'm in the middle of something. Come on, no problem, I'll just when you're free. Have a drink with me. Why not, Rasta? I've got my piece of one over. Great. See you soon.
Nika, I was starting to think you wouldn't come. Let's go now. Nico B in the house! Man, sometimes I cannot believe you're here with me. Really, I can't. It's hardly been a lot of fun since I turned up, cousin. Correct! It has been a fucking nightmare, but that's not the point. No? No, the point is... Fuck it. The Bellic cousins are here in a la- And we are making trouble for any fools who get in our way. If you say so. I do say so, man. I do. I just did. It, it's good to have you here. Whatever shit we get into, man, it's good. Thanks. Don't you miss home? You've been there a long time. You never get homesick? Sure. I miss things about home, but I, I, I think things are ruined now. Yes, I know what you mean. I miss the good times we had as children. When their fathers were too drunk to beat us. When there was food and the sun was shining, but now... Now I live here and life is good. Is it? Yes, cousin, it is. Sure, this place is crazy, but <laughs> so is home. And here it is okay to be an eccentric go-getter businessman with a taste for fine women, wine, and song. <laughs> is that how you see yourself? My bad. <laughs> is that how you see yourself? My god, you are deranged, cousin. This place has made you sick. Fuck you. I'm an individual, my friend. One of a kind! Bored. The way a freak. Comrades, we shall raise our glasses to the late Vlad while we're here. I like that place. Now that Vlad is gone, I can really appreciate the atmosphere. These dogs eat them. You cannot beat them. Did you see those dip? Did you see those titties in there? I could have covered them with butter and syrup. What about Mallory's titties? Don't you like them? Have you been bawling, Mallory cousin? How could you? She's the love of my life. The woman of my dreams. My old cousin is thinking about her firm, sweet titties. You make me sick, cousin. Sick to the bone. You're drunk, Roman. That oh. is no excuse for giving it to Mallory, Nico. Just because I might not be able to perform right now, does it mean you should step into the ring for me? I'll be on fighting form again tomorrow morning. Lucky Mallory. Since you've got to live with the city, I've shared everything with you. Everything. But I won't say that. No, I won't say that. I love you, Nico. I know you do, Roman. Take a bite of my hot chihuahua meat. Oh boy. I definitely should be walking home. My dog's is long and hot. Oh, pigs! That's two units from home. Chill, man! Fuck! Nick! 
Rico. It's the pigs. Thank you.